having some fun today. We're talking trash. And when you watch this show, we're going to make it so there's things around the house you have or maybe hidden in the garage. We're going to tell you where you can take them, kind of what the guidelines are. And you're going to meet some of the wonderful staff who makes all of our lives easy. Okay. I'm Connie Tolson, and I am the Recycling and Refuse Manager at Public Works. And Connie, tell everybody what that means. That means I'm in charge of the five county transfer stations for residents to use. So we're currently at the Graysonville location, and they're open Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, 8 to 4. There's one farther south on Ken Island on Bats Neck Road. They are open Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, 8 to 4. Uh, farther north, we have Centerville. And they're open Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday, 8 to 4. Uh, Churchill location, open Thursday and Saturday, 8 to 4. And then farther north is the one that we refer to as Glanding, and that's between Southersville and Millington. And they're open Friday and Saturday, 8 to 4. Connie, they should double your salary just because you remembered all that. <laughs> I have to go on the Internet every week, go to the website, and say, Fred, don't go on Friday. It's not necessary. What can you bring to the dump? Well, you can bring most things to the transfer stations. You can't bring anything that's hazardous, no chemicals, pesticides, herbicides, even uh, gasoline. We take small amounts of gasoline, but that's only at the Centerville location. Other than that, all the sites take uh, pretty much anything. There are limits on rubble, which is construction demolition debris, how much you can bring in, which is a 55 gallon drum once a week. Household trash, no problem. No problem. An old sofa, no problem. No problem. And working with the wonderful people at these transfer stations, dealing with some things like paint and gasoline, they'll explain to you what has to be done and what yes. can and can't be done. Yes. Right? Which is terrific. And I know in the Centerville place, you can even get mulch certain times you of the sure year. Can. Right? Okay. You can do that any of them. Connie, how about <laughs> introduce me to this good looking gentleman I have to my right? This is James Conyer, and he has been here for more years than anyone can remember. And so many years we can't figure it out <laughs> That's this right. morning. Okay. Now, James, <laughs> tell everybody, when they come to the dump, if I'm coming to the dump, yes, I'm sir. a first time person, what do I need to have and to make your job easier than mine? You have to have a dump ticket. Okay, now where do and we get, we can go to certain places yes, and get sir. those? We can okay. go to uh, Bennett's Point Store, okay. Food Line, Safeway. And there are other spots of that, yeah, which is fine. Yeah, and and Western uh, Auto. Connie, you've done a good job with hiring. <laughs> They're all delightful. Appreciate that. They help you, they direct you, and nobody fusses at you, and they make sometimes a chore very easy. Thank all right, you. James, thank you very much for being You're here today. Man. Who is this young person we have with us right now? This is Jackie Hawkins, and she's been here for 15 years. Well, Jackie, I know you like all the staff, as friendly, as helpful as you can. Jackie, what is your job, or what's your role here at the transfer station? Just to make sure they put everything in the right box and check the loads. And that's so important, right? Get the wood in the wood, the cardboard in the cardboard, etc. Well, look at I know you're like all the employees. I think Connie has this rule that you got to be a good person to get hired to yes. the transfer station. All right. Yeah, thank you're you, out. Thank, you, thank you very much for your service. You're doing great. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Jack. All right, so here we have the reuse program. So anybody that brings something in that's still usable and in good condition, we actually collect those items and it goes to the auction in Crumpton, the Dixon auction. So anybody that wants one of these items, it's an online auction. They can go online on the auction date, which is every other Tuesday and Wednesday. A bid on it and try to win it. So that's keeping a lot of stuff out of the landfill. Yes, it does. And the items are still usable. They just, people just don't want them. So it keeps it from being in the landfill. And it gives an opportunity for everybody to bid on it. That's great. So what we do is when a trailer is loaded up, we weigh it and get the weight to see how much money we have not paid out in tipping fees to a landfill because that is money saved to a taxpayer. And then we do get revenue from anybody that bids on the items. That money comes back to us in, in the form of revenue and offsets some of the costs for the, the transfer stations. Okay.